Welcome back guys to the F1 Championship Edition Korea. I hope you're having a fantastic day and in, in, hope you've been enjoying the lovely warm weather we've had recently. And um, I, I must tell you I'm recording this around middle of April so we've had kind of warmer weather than we have had previously. But um, yeah we're here for the British Grand Prix and um, yeah as you can see we qualified in P6 right behind our teammate Felipe Massa. Fissi Keller is on pole by four tenths of a second over his teammate Fernando Alonso but over this course of the weekend we have the fastest time ever across this particular session 118.9 which is the overall quickest and I was about two seconds slower in Q3 but we're not really competitive here at Silverstone but let's hope we can make it through the first few turns and try and try and beat Alonso to be fair because we locked in battle for the championship with him going into the next few Grand Prix, and um, yeah, there's the rest of the field. Two Aguri Hondas, two Midlands, a Toro Rosso, and Coulthard got knocked out. Fair enough. And yeah, let's get down to the start of the British Grand Prix. I prefer this layout to Silverstone than the last one, or than the one they've got now, so we'll just skip to, oh, we skip it to that, I thought it we were going to skip to the, to the track, track layout, but never mind. Okay, so there's the grid, we know that, let's just get down to the race. We've got our teammate Felipe Massa off to his left. We've got Raikkonen behind us and Trulli behind us. Just had to have a quick look to see if it was Raikkonen. And we are racing here at Sunny Silverstone. Which is unusual because normally it's raining and I'm terrible here when it rains. Or I'm just terrible in the wet on this game. Full stop because there's not much wet weather going off but we're okay. I know sometimes they get on the brakes here for some reason. Yeah, there we go, Massa did, and so did Ry uh, Montoya, I was going to say Raikkonen. We've got a bit of damage on his nose, but that's not really a problem. There's Raikkonen trying to pass us for sixth position in the slipstream of our teammate. Can we get him down into the next turn? No, we're too far back, I would imagine. You don't want to fire it off the road. He's gone too, a little too wide as well. He probably expected me to be on the inside. Dive bomb, dive bomb, dive bomb. That's risky. That normally ends up with one of us having you know a bit of damage on us as we're trying to get past his teammate fighting with Felipe can we get on the inside of the of the, of the old bridge chicane yes we can I say old because it's not really there no more as we get past him our teammate Felipe into P5 we've got to try and get, get past Alonso and try and at least win this not win this Grand Prix but take back some momentum because the championship's down to a point again and Alonso is ahead of us by a point because he was 11 after the last couple of Grand Prix, I think. So, okay, so we made it through the first first lap pretty smoothly. Okay, so that's good through turn one. Let's hope we don't wreck it. That was close through there. We're sliding through there. That's we got it anchored down though for the next turn down onto the hangar straight we've got a good run through there but there's sadly we can't do nothing with the Fer ferrari the mclaren ahead next lap of schedule stop as we run slightly wide there can we we're not going to dive it up the inside of montoya down into this corner we're too far back but we should be able to get a good run there we go we got a good run through there come on on the back of the mclaren can we get him into the bridge corner, which we did with Felipe? Yes, we do. We make a dive bomb. I've taken after F1 Games PlayStation there with dive bombs there, and we take fourth position. He is the dive bomb master, F1 Games PlayStation is. I'm sorry for if that seems like I'm mocking you, Dave, but I'm not. I swear. So we're stopping on the next lap as we are... Yeah, we're into fourth place. If we can get on the back of... Barry Kello, we might be able to sneak on the podium here in Britain. We might be able to get a British Grand Prix podium in his final time here. There's oil somewhere that might be behind us off from a car on the previous lap. It's there, it nearly affected us. We did slide on it, but it didn't really throw the car off to in the barriers. Thankfully, the barriers weren't close. But we have got a quick car at the minute here. Yeah, I didn't expect to be this quick in, in, in the race. 
I knew we was good on low fuel. But I didn't expect us being this good here at Silverstone. So we're stopping this lap. Let's hope we don't do what we did in Spain, which we won't because we're ahead of his teammate. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very tense through here, you know, through this race because I don't want to throw it off and I want to make sure we can d limit the damage to Alonso. Because we, we're only a point behind and are both Renaults going on? How did both Renaults set them times on high fuel? Is it because we're just that shit compared to the rest of them? Is it, that's probably what it is, if you really think about it. Come on then. Quick pit stop. Ah, Mr. Button. Only just though. There we go. Come on. X. A square mean. Uh, 8.3. That's not bad. Could have been a sub 7 set and pit stop. Or seven uh, sub 8 set and pit stop. Sorry. But I missed R1. There's Barry Kell setting off ahead of us. Hopefully we should be still in second. Well, in fourth place. But we might. I don't think we're going to catch Barry Kello. I know the will. But I'm still pushing, which might be the problem. Come on, Barrichello, slow down, please, mate. I want a podium here in Silverstone because I've got a feeling we can have a podium. I think we've got Canada next, haven't we? Canada for the next Grand Prix. As we run wide there, that's not good. Don't want to be doing that too many times. Okay, tyres have warmed up. We should have, but we're still not any closer to Barrichello. If we started a place or so further ahead, like in fifth, we might have been on the podium by now, or in podium position. Let's take a look at the current top eight positions. Please do. Alonso leads. Yeah, because Fisichella is pitted now. Fisichella is second. He was in the lead earlier. Third is Juan Pablo Montoya. For now, until we all come out of the pit lane. So, second place is where we... No, third place. Fourth. Fourth, second. No, I don't know what's going off. Huh? So, we're out ahead of... Way ahead of Montoya there. So, fourth place is where we... Where we're probably set to finish. Not if that happens, though. Not if that keeps happening. Fucking hell. I'm definitely giving it fucking everything in this Grand Prix. As long as Alonso's engine holds out or as he stays in the Grand Prix, this should be fine for Fernando. But I think, is he too far back on his teammate? Too close to his teammate when he pits? I don't know. It's going to be close. But staying out that long on that fuel. But pitting with one lap to go, he, I don't know. How did they set the time that time on low fuel? I'm just really that bad at Silverstone, aren't I? Running wide through there. Is he still... Is he going to get going, Alonso? His physical looks like he could win the Grand Prix. We're sliding again. Trying to give it everything. Come on, Fizzy. For the championship sake, please, Fizzy. Yeah, Fizzy's going to be taking the lead of the... Actually, I was slating Fizzy a few races ago, but never mind. Final lap is starting now, but we have Montoya behind us. Please... Please, Juan Pablo, leave me alone. Let me just take as little points damage to Alonso as possible. But uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a strange Grand Prix. How are we actually running in fourth place in Silverstone? But we finally got brilliant. Well, we finally got better at Britain, thanks to well a bit of hard work and quite a few qualifying laps. I might add so. Okay, so coming around the final few, well, not the final few corners, coming to the end of Sector 2. Barry Kello is right there with Alonso, but I think the top three are going to stay the same. Uh, fourth is pretty much set, as long as I don't bin it. And, yeah, so it's been a straightforward Grand Prix. But Fissi Keller is coming around the final corner here at Silverstone. 
to win the British Grand Prix. I don't know how many times he's won this season already. I don't think he's won one. There's a car out of the Grand Prix. It's Barry Kellow's blown up. Coming around the final corner, we're, finally, we're going to be on the podium. Yes, we're going to be on the podium. Barry Kellow's blew up out of the final corner. What happened there? Drama. Literally, I did not expect that. Shit, what the fuck? Drama. Here at the end of the British Grand Prix, Barry Kello blew up his Honda. Decided, nah, you know what? I'm done with this race, boy. So we get on the podium in Britain. For the final time, we, for the, our final time here in Britain, we get on the podium. It's not the top step. We only lose two points to Alonso, so it's three points the gap is now. Coming out of the British Grand Prix, Rosberg finished ninth, Trulli in eighth. Here's the bottom, Barry Kello, not classified. His engine blew up on the final cut. He, co he was going to finish. He was, he was only yards away from the final corner, and on Honda thought, you know what? No, I'm done. But the championship is now three points between me and Fernando Alonso, thanks to that happening. Barry Kello has lost out to his teammate now, thanks to that. Um, Coulthard still yet to score. Clean has points for Red Bull, thanks to Monaco. And still quite a few drivers yet to score. Uh, has Villeneuve scored a point? I don't know. But now we are one point ahead. So they gained eight points on us for uh, uh, Renault did over the last couple of Grand Prix. But what drama here at Silverstone. Can you believe that? Barry Kello, I thought, I didn't know what was going off. And then I, uh, Formula One, that's why I love you. Right then, congratulations to Fisichella and Renault on a fantastic 1-2 here in Silverstone. Or Silverstone? Yeah, Silverstone. Or Silverstone, one of, if, if, whichever you want. Really well, strategy worked out a treat, but it was your skill... No, actually no. Nothing about my skill, it wasn't that, it wasn't that great. To be fair, it was the other... I managed to pull off some overtake move that was good, but... It wasn't all down to me, it was down to Ferrari and Honda blowing up, but still, Honda, will they win again in Grand Prix, uh, well, the Canadian Grand Prix next time out, possibly, but we won their last, hopefully we can get, we can do the same again in, for, in a Ferrari, but we're on the podium at Silverstone, absolutely brilliant, so we've had a brilliant race here at Silverstone, and uh, yeah, if you've liked it, let me know in the comments, guys, and the drama on the last lap of the Grand Prix, I cannot believe it, the final turn and Barrichello goes out. I feel bad for him, man. But anyway, we'll move on to Canada. Thank you for watching, guys. And you've been a pleasure to make this video for, and I will see you later.